I've played with several different coils uh, for the clock but I wanted something that looked old-fashioned uh, so I thought I'd better make my own. I started off with a bit of round bar that I found in my junk box. I heated it up and bent it. It must have been a bit of carbon steel as uh, I tried to bend it just as it was cooling down and it uh, snapped with a crack like a pistol shot um, so I say it must have been a bit of tool steel that I'd got in there anyway I started again uh, but this time I used an old bolt and again I heated it and once I got the uh, shape I wanted I cleaned it up with a bit of emery cloth so as I could uh, blue it the idea is to get it uh, polished silver and then you can heat it and get it uh, that nice blue color which again looks old-fashioned I found some old fiber washers in my washer tin um, I insulated the cores of the uh, the U magnet uh, with some PVC tape and I wound about a thousand turns of wire uh, onto it. It's uh, around 500 turns on each side. It's not pretty and I could have wound little bobbins and fitted them onto the uh, the U but this is just the way I chose to do it. So this is uh, a little bit of flexible wire that I've soldered onto uh, uh, the copper wire I'm going to use for the coil and um, this is uh, a little bit of sleeving which I've started on the wire um, and that'll be used uh, where the wire crosses from one pole to the other or uh, from one coil to the other. I'll show you that when I get a bit further on but as I wind the coil I should just keep on moving that uh, up and closer to the, uh, the wire that I'm using there. That's the coil. Um, it's got um, 500 plus 500 turns, so a thousand turns and in the middle there that's the uh, little bit of insulation uh, between the two that I slid on to start with. I'll put some uh, uh, canvas insulation over this or something just to make it look old-fashioned. The only important thing to note is the direction of the windings. Uh, if you get confused just imagine that the bar is straight and you have to wind both halves of the coil in the same direction so as to maintain the north and south poles of the magnet. If you don't do that, if you manage to wind uh, one of them in antiphase, then they'll cancel one another out and uh, you won't have a magnet. The DC resistance has come out at uh, 17 ohms and uh, that I've used this wire uh, 0.25 millimeter diameter that's 32 standard wire gauge and that's uh, that's a, uh, a UK wire gauge I don't know but I think American wire gauge may be different um, but uh, that's uh, one of the smallest wires I've got I've got other wires here and uh, the finest one I've got is this stuff this is the finest stuff I've got, it, but it's Litz wire and uh, I don't really want to waste it on this. this is, uh, you can see those, and those other grooves of my fingerprints. Uh, so uh, very, very fine stuff. And uh, I'd probably break it um, winding it 0.04 millimeters and that's seven strands, each uh, 0 0.0 four millimeters so very very fine so at uh, 17 ohms uh, that would pull uh, 88 milliamps from a, uh, a one and a half volt battery or uh, 176 milliamps from a three volt battery uh, I don't think that's a problem I didn't calculate the number of turns on the coil I simply did what I felt was right and that's based on playing with uh, 
coils over a, a number of years and at 17 ohms that'll be fine I'm only taking out a, a, a tiny pulse of current uh, for a fraction of a second uh, every oh, what uh, 12 or 18 seconds or so depending on uh, how often I'm charging the pendulum so uh, the battery will last a, a very long time I cut a little groove in the shape of the U into the Tofnel as there's a lot of force when the magnet is energized and I don't want the uh, core of the magnet to move uh, relative to the Tofnel that's holding it and I uh, wound the tails into pigtails again it's just to make it look uh, like an old one and finally I cut some black cloth and uh, I sewed that into position uh, around the coils again just to make it look uh, old-fashioned just give it a bit of energy and uh, that's a fairly lumpy block of metal I've got uh, there Okay, that was showing off a bit because I put 30 volts on it but uh, even at 3 volts it's uh, quite powerful. Uh, this block of metal weighs something over 2.5 pounds. I just put it on the kitchen scales but they only go up to 2.5 pounds and uh, it's, uh, it's over that. So uh, just put 3 volts on here and uh, that's that block of metal being lifted. Um, I guess conditions have got to be right for it to lift it but uh, there you go switch the power off so that's what I'm planning to use to move my little pendulum okay well I hope you found that interesting um, uh, well done on the perseverance for anybody that's waded through uh, all of these videos so far. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you find it uh, uh, of interest. Bye-bye. Uh,